All right, hi there. Today we've got a TPS 270i uh, from Fronius, and I've got this in the shop here. And just want to do a little walk around video to kind of show you sort of what uh, what makes it different than the, like a 320 or some of the bigger ones, and also to show you it's very similar to uh, like a 2700 or some of the other ones. So same drive wheel, same drive roll system that you're used to seeing in like 2700. Um, even the 2500s and up to the the larger series, the 320s, the 400s, and, and transteal pulses. So all that stuff's the same. Um, I had a uh, just an air-cooled MIG gun here that I put on, and so just your 320 MIG gun. So the display on this is a little different than all the other ones, and that was kind of something that I wanted to sh walk through and at least show you here. So we do have auto set. Um, we've got we've got synergic mode, pulse synergic, synergic manual. Um, you also have your low spatter control and your pulse multi control, your stick tig and uh, cold metal transfer and special process there. So some of this I, I've got license on, some of it I don't. So synergic, um, of course, manual mode. Um, I don't have license for the PMC and we now have stick TIG there also. So we jump between stick and jump between TIG. Uh, where I was at here was just plain old Synergic, uh, running some 71T1 on some beams here and just plain old gas shielded flux core. So quick walk through here to show you how this looks because obviously you can see here the display looks kind of similar to 2700 but uh, still not quite a 320 mode. So you've got some options here to uh, select your filler material. And right now, so this, you click on this button and this is going to jump you through all the, I mean, there's a ton of stuff on here. So I'm on uh, flux core, like I mentioned earlier. So I select that, hit my diameter. Oops, I select it first. Ah, diameter. Four, five. I think I only have three, five, four, five options here. Gas options. And again, this has, I mean, it's at 75, or it's a uh, gas shield flux core, so you really only have a couple options here. And it gives you a mixed gas option, gives you 100% CO2 option. And so I'm running mixed gas on this particular one. Store it, yep, okay. Uh, so if you're ever curious, you can just hit your info button and then that walks you through what you're set up for. Um, so it shows my programming on there as far as the Synergic line as well. So the universal and the code number for that. Get back out of that. Now you're back into your auto set. Same thing you'd see before, plate thickness there, um, amp equivalent, wire feed speed, and then the same that you would be able to do on uh, you know, 2200 or, um, well yeah, 2200, 2700, like any of those other ones shows your volts and this is kind of where I've been hanging out. So here's your plate thickness, changing over your volts, going through that. Um, you do have your trigger select here, 2T, 4T, um, and then any of like your step modes and that kind of stuff. So really it's a, it's a pretty simple breakdown. Um, it doesn't quite give you the depth that like a 320 does, but uh, from what I've found and what I've been using it for, um, outside of missing the, the PMC, which is definitely a pretty slick setup, uh, but of course comes at a um, upgrade. You can just do a software upgrade and uh, make that happen. So this is a three phase machine. So that is something to consider. Uh, we've got the gentle hum of a phase converter in the background there, but um, yeah, I mean, nothing, nothing different, nothing weird here, just normal platform that you're used to seeing in a compact one of Fronius's machines. So. Hopefully that uh, sheds a little light on it there and uh, help you make a decision. Thanks.